These are the three most important things you should know about buying an investment property. Hey everybody, welcome back. I hope you had a great week. Um, as a lot of you know, uh, I have a couple of investment properties and it's been definitely a steep learning curve over the years and I thought it would be important to share three of the most important things that I've learned about owning investment property so that maybe if you're considering doing it, you can think about these as well. The first thing is you should be thinking about making this purchase for the long term. You have to understand that interest rates are going to go up and down and you have to also know that prices may fluctuate. So if you're keeping this over the long term, we all know that real estate prices are going to go up and up and up you know, over the long term. So not to worry about what's happening within the year or two, you have to think about this in more of, you know, like a 10 year, 15 year spam. This should be a combination for you of making hopefully a positive cash flow every month, but then also obviously putting the money into this investment. So even when the market is a little stagnant, like today in some areas, keep going, you know, a year or two from now, things are going to turn around. And so I see a lot of people, you know, kind of ditching their properties because it's not making financial sense for them anymore. But again, as long as you can afford it, hang on, things will turn around and you will be making hand over fist money in 10 or 20 years from now. Number two, the second most important thing that I think is that you have to raise your rents every year. Now the government puts out guidelines of what you can raise it to, and that's what you should raise it to. I've made the mistake of not raising rent because my tenants are good and I want to help them out. But at the end of the day, if they're there for a really long time, you are now way behind in rent. So make sure you raise it every single year. And number three, if it was up to me, I would recommend everybody use a property management company. Now they're going to charge you somewhere between eight to 10% of the gross rent, but it makes all the difference because they do everything for you. And you know, you don't have to get tenants. You don't have to worry about, uh, evicting someone. If you're having a problem, you don't have to worry about all those repairs that all goes through the property management company and they take care of everything for you. Otherwise you have to make sure you are available at four o'clock in the morning when the toilet breaks and the tenants call. Anyway, hopefully that's been helpful. I can't say enough about buying investment property. I think this is the smartest thing you can do if you can afford it. Even if you don't own your own home, I would definitely consider, you know, buying an investment property so that you've got that money coming in. Thanks so much for tuning in. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out and don't forget to follow us on our podcast, the Toronto real estate show with Janelle and Leslie, and we drop episodes every week and go over everything related to the GTA real estate market. Have a great day. We'll see you soon.